Hello everybody! It's morning here, so we're going to say morning. Morning. If you like our videos, you love farming, remember to hit the subscribe button because it really helps small channels like us to get our message out to people. Yep. So I've just put on the fodder meat bucket because we've already done the um, feeding of the meal. Em's just putting the pipes on for us. So Em's just popped the pipes on the fodder meat bucket for us and we're going to go and feed some fodder meat out to the cows. Sound like a pan? Em? Business! So we've got our new cattle pen. It's not finished, but it's going to be soon. Can't wait to fill that with a few cows. If you're not from farming and you don't have cows, you'll not understand that cattle are an addiction and mm -hmm. I love just having more of them because I just love them. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, can't wait to get some little guys in there ready. They will be in there um, until springtime and then we'll let them out to grass and they will have a lovely summer at grass and then come back inside after that. Andy's about just blowing some straw in to those cattle down there. Doing a fantastic job as usual, Andy. So I think what's going to happen today is we're going to sort that pen out and make sure it's all ready to put cows in. So when we get some more coming, because we have got some more due in, um, we've got plenty of room for them and plenty of space because there's no point cramping them all up because it's not good. Like They're not going to be happy if they're all tightly packed in there. They want to have space to move around and eat and play with the mates. Um, you know, all the stuff that cows do. So we're going to rip into Andy because he's been spilling straw, anti not Em? Em will just sort it out, chuck it back in pens because <laughs> he got it on that cow's head. <laughs> How did you like that fella? <laughs> well they all want to go now Em. I think it's a game. <laughs> Can't beat them Aberdeen Angus cows. Look at them, lovely. Brilliant. Yeah, I love this bucket. KW Farm Services. Fantastic for chopping meat. Just let stones through it as well. The rollers open up. If you got any stones in there, it just fires them straight through. brilliant tool. You can see these cows all nicely bedded up and he's been up here blasted some straw in. And that's what we do every single day on this farm. Straw them up in the morning. Give them plenty so we don't have to straw them up again but if they did need it in the afternoon it wouldn't be an issue we'd come and straw them up again. Because cows come first. That's my motto. So our neighbour lets people walk around the edge of his field. And look, that's what you get. Yeah, they just walk through the middle of the field instead. That's why I am really happy for people to walk on the footpath. But we don't let people walk around the edge of the field and things like that. Like if there's not a footpath there, then people shouldn't be walking in it. Because they just take the piss. So it's a shame really. Or they don't understand. But I think it's they're taking the piss. <laughs> this barley straw is real long stuff today, and uh, this better bale's not really liking it. It's uh, it's bunging the uh, bunging the rotors up for some reason. But good stuff for bedding cat. He's done it now, you see. Good stuff for bedding cattle up though. It's long like that. They won't get trampled in the same. Again. <laughs> anyway, I'll get back to work getting this last bit out because it's going to take a bit of messing, I think. Um, if I ever get to the shed without spilling it, I'm going to celebrate because I just have not got the abilities. I feel the cup's too full because <laughs> who wants half a cup of tea? But by the time I get there, there's only half a cup of tea in it anyway. <laughs> Luckily for me, i found my hat. Oh, this is a rag. A rag? The Don't call it a rag! My, my oily hands on it. You better not have. <laughs> Got another fancy car here. This is my brother's. He's just like a, a playtime farmer. 
it's finished work for today and he's come here to um, wash his car and I've made him a cup of coffee Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna hear his brakes. Cause, cause he's got a Discovery, or AKA a Land Rover. The, uh, they just break down or wear out really quick. Anybody's ever seen like the typical serial killer? <laughs> oh God. So this is the fantastic thing about Emma, Emma, Emily, she didn't have anything to do, so what she's done is she's cleaned out all the muck from when we were mucking out, out of the headstock. No prompt from Andy, no prompt from me, just got on with it to get something done. Fantastic. We've been in the nettles again and we found another barrier. So it's going to cost us. Um, well, not a lot really, because everything we've used for this, we've had laying about probably from the old farm days or that we've just accumulated over the years and then got rid of a little bit of electrical work now. We've got a plug that's not working correctly. And I know I should really call an electrician to do this sort of thing, but literally it's just changing the flare face plate. And I'm very competent with electrics. Um, and I've got an electrical tester, I know how that all works, so I'm, um, I feel pretty safe doing it. I place the plug fronts, time to test them. To get two green lights, that means they're good. And a beep. Yep, good. Yep, good. Yep, good. Ah, surprise, surprise, it's good. Like much further than what we've just done now, like changing a socket or something. Maybe putting a socket in um, when it comes to like the RCD and stuff like that, then we get electricians in. But simple things, I like to do simple things. Specifically, not showing me doing any of this work because um, you shouldn't try it at home. Messing with electrics is very dangerous unless you know what you're doing. So leave it to the experts unless you really know what you're doing. Okay? Now I've got those plug sockets fixed, my brother can spend time washing his car because um, fresh wash can be plugged back in. So he's gonna be happy. Happy doing nothing again. Part-time farmer. Isn't that right, Ben? Yeah, see, he is. <laughs> a bit more like a yard now. Well, right now, I've just had my dinner. I'm gonna be getting in the 210R and I'm going to pick up a different feed today. One that we've never used before on the farm. Um, it's called popcorn. Well, it's not popped, it's before it's been popped, so it's, um, it's gone out of date for human consumption, but for cattle it will be absolutely fine. We're going to mill it up back at the farm here, but I've got to go and travel quite a distance now to go and collect it. So that's the plan, just getting the 210 warmed up, ready to go. Been busy washing out the lorry. Going to pinch the lance off her. I'd like the windows doing on this end so that I can see nicely when I'm on the road. I'm going to have to go and get some popcorn. Popcorn party tonight for the cows. Yeah, I'm just giving the uh, 215, 210 sorry it is, isn't it? Not that flash. Uh, I've just given this a wash. That's a steam cleaner bellowing the smoke out. And um, yeah, I'll get off up there. An hour in the tractor, lovely. Traffic. It's not me that's causing it for once. We're at a standstill. Great. That's the place where I'm meant to be picking this popcorn up from. But it looks like there's nobody here. There's supposed to be somebody coming to meet me though. Um, so yeah. Just hang about I suppose. <laughs> there we have it. Just like maze really. We'll smash that up. Job will be a good one. This flower. <laughs> and some flower. <laughs> uh, a bit of popcorn in there. All in like half ton bags though, so it's a bit of a nightmare. Emptying it out, but 
Be right, be right. Train's going by. That's some train. That Francis would be proud. I've got to get off. <clears throat> Let myself through the crossings. Not had to do this one before. Still sat here waiting. Oh dear, I'm gonna go out and press button again, I think. That's what it's all about. Francis would be going mental. Interval. So we got back in the yard. We'll just weigh it in. See what we've got on. Got the popcorn back to the farm. Cracking stuff. So put run that through the mill tomorrow probably. If you stay tuned and subscribe, you'll see it going through the mill. Make some lovely flour. Cows will be happy. While I've been away, they've sorted out the new cattle pen. There's a bit of band tying it together, but at the back here we're gonna put some bales back in so that there's no draft on the cattle. And um, so there's plenty of ventilation but uh, it'll be a bit cold if we leave it open. And then we fetched my tipping water trough round, which will pipe in from this water pipe here, um, probably tomorrow now. And yeah, all done and sorted. All sorted. We need a concrete panel at that end, just a little short one to stop the muck pushing out. And then the feed barrier comes over the top, but it's just a uh, easy peasy putting that concrete panel in. Lift it in with a JCB um and bolt it bolt it back so all about done andy and em feeding up em nearly falling off when she jumps off the jcb Bye, andy. all right em shall i say afternoon em the new cattle pen is going to be my popcorn storage for tonight leave it in here ideal sorted all stored nice and dry so Andy's just filling the mixer up, ready for the morning. Of course, he's a superstar. And me and Em are just watching him. <laughs> oh well. Are we gonna be in the way? Are we putting extra pressure on him, do you think? It's looking clean, that TM. Have you washed it or is it just because it's dark? <laughs> right, so we'll leave Andy to that. So it's cold, it's cold, is it? Anyway, what I was going to say is this is probably where we're going to leave it tonight. Um, because we're about done feeding up. I'm going to back in that maze so it's nice and undercover. And I think we will all see you tomorrow. Remember to subscribe if you've not. Cheers, guys.